how y'all doing? So I am glad that you came back to join me today. Today has been a crazy day for me. I've been running around and doing a lot of things. So I just wanted to sit for a couple of minutes and talk to you um, about some stuff that's going on with me. So um, you already know that I'm an author, um, but I'm also an actress. I was just um, a co-star in a movie called The Garden that is on Amazon Prime. Um, and it was an amazing experience. Um, and it, you know, it brought about a lot of things, a lot of different emotions and, and, and just different things that you don't think kind of affects you. But it brought about a lot of, you know, thoughts. So there's another opportunity, um, another production that I'm gonna be in soon. Um, and just a whole lot of you know preparation going into that but I am also a singer um, singer songwriter um, artist all the way around I cannot play one instrument I wish I could play the piano but I'm a singer and a songwriter so I am working on my single right now and that process is uh, it is a good process, but it's not something that I am used to because um, I've been writing music since I was 10, maybe. Um, singing since I was like three years old, but writing since I was about 10. Um, my first actual song song that um, I let people hear, <laughs> me, that, you know, that I wrote, I was about 16. Um, and to this day, it is not recorded, but... Now in my adulthood, I feel like there's no better time to, you know, put out the music um, that God gives me. So I was running around today. I was in the studio today. Um, and even being in the studio uh, with my producer and just singing and, and, and you know, putting out um, what I feel is something that God gives me. Um, it just brings up those like feelings that you may have had in those situations you know like man is this good enough or um are people gonna like it um is the sound gonna be what the industry needs and you know is this gonna be like a waste of my time or maybe my voice is not meant for this maybe I need to sing, <clears throat> maybe I need to sing a little higher because that's what they're looking for. Maybe I need to sing lower. Maybe I need to do more tricks and flips and runs and riffs. And, you know, maybe I need to change up the words because, you know, I wanted to, you know, touch people in a certain, you know, like it is, there's so many things that come up, um, but it's, there's also lessons. So going into this, I've always write my own music. Um, I've always written my own music. Um, and like I said, it's never been recorded, but I've always written by myself and my mom was the only one who ever, you know, my mom or like my little sisters or something would hear the stuff that I write at home and no one else, right? So no one else has the opportunity to put their hands on my, you know, my music and the things that I hold so dear. Um, but when they did, they were very like happy and, and pleased with it and you know blessed by it and stuff like that so it just brought up those old feelings like man you know I want this to be good enough like I want who I am as a person to come through my music I want you know the person who hears it to you know if they if they relate I want them to you know feel know that it's real I, you know I don't want it to come across fake. I don't want it to come across rehearsed. I, you know, I want to portray me um, the way that God gave it to me. I, that's how I want it to be. And gratefully, I have a producer that um, very much fosters that. Like, he is very, very understanding of that and loves God enough that he's in touch and knows, like, this is what you know she's trying to do but again like it, it still brings up those feelings like even with the support system my family is behind me 100 percent you know and you know I, i'm encouraged to do it but there's still those times even when you know you know you're good at something um i know i can sing i know that um i've, I've been singing since i was kid you know a baby 
Um, so I know I can do that. I know that I can deliver a message and it can permeate because I've done it. You know, I've seen it. Um, but sometimes it's still like those feelings, right? And I had to remind myself because, you know, it's a lesson that took me so long to learn. You are not any less than great. You are no less great than anybody else. And you're no greater than anybody else. You just are good enough. And for me, you know, just even in my adulthood now, and, you know, I'm acting and I'm, um, you know, singing everywhere and uh, speaking to young people and, and all these different things that I'm doing. I'm on YouTube um, and, and trying to motivate people. And I still have these days uh, where I actually post it on my social media um, that I doubt myself sometimes. There will be those days when no matter if you, you know, you have a brand or a business and it's successful, there will be days when you feel like, yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe that's, you know, there's those days where it just comes up and this journey of loving yourself and understanding and appreciating who God created you to be is not like a magic wand that says you'll never have a day, um, when you don't feel like when you don't question something, um, there's not, there's no magic pill. There's no, you know, a bunch of words that anybody can say to you. It's just sometimes it happens, but the, the biggest thing for me is being intentional about reminding myself, um, the truth really. So, you know, so just really walking myself through the whole thing. Do I need to sing higher because that's what other people want? No. If that's what's in my spirit to do, I can. Right? But it's not because it's what other people want. Right? Being true to you is is like the hardest thing. But that's something that I always have to remind myself. Be true to yourself. Whitney, be true to you, girl. <laughs> be true to who you are made to be. Um, if people don't like your music, that's okay. That's okay. It doesn't mean anything bad on their part or your part. It's just not for them. But your music is for you, right? If you're a writer and, and you want to write a book or um, you want to start a blog or, um, you know, anything. You just write poetry, um, whatever. Maybe your style of writing is not for me. <laughs> or my style of writing is not for you, but it's for somebody. Um, and if it's for nobody else but you, it's good enough, right? I just, that that's really the lesson today. I don't want anybody ever to, you know, feel, I know it's going to happen, but there are those days that come up that you're not going to feel great in your skin, right? There are those days where you're just like, <laughs> like, maybe I should just change a couple of things. Um, but I wanted to encourage you. Um, you know, it happens to the best of us. And we are all the best, okay? Um, I'm a business owner. I'm an author. I'm a singer, a songwriter. I have a, a full, you know, nine to five situation, a healthcare job. Um, I am a sister. I am a daughter, <laughs> okay? Um, I'm a ministry leader. I'm a worshiper right you know I have so many great things that are going on in my life and still there are days when I'm like is this good enough or I, you know you know it happens what I want the lesson to be today you're no less than great you are great so that's my soapbox for today but I just wanted to come as a regular day I am very tired um <laughs> but I have actually another meeting after this and I really just you know I just wanted to encourage you there'll be bad days there'll be iffy days 
keep going you're great you're amazing you're enough i love you so very much and i mean that and i mean that if no one else tells you that they love you today i love you um and as i always say remember to love god because he is the source of real love remember to love yourself and appreciate who god created you to be and remember to love other people because that is the way the world goes around i love you bye